are going to look at homework two. All right, you go ahead and uh, download the file, open your PSD file, and you will see there is different shells, cent dollars, and all that, and then you can see the frame on the top it has these area that you gotta fill with the images underneath. See the letter S? You guys need to erase that and replace it to your first name or last name, meaning your first or last. Now we zoom in. Let's go ahead and select the magnetic selection tool. And then let's go ahead and select the set dollar. So let's zoom in. Make sure your feather on the very top, you see the feather need to be about one pixel. Okay, so we'll select that, copy or cut, come in X, and then we're going to bring to A right there, come in V, just put the send dollar right there. Now we're gonna create. Let's look at the homework right here. Um, okay, try to zoom in right there. Okay, we need to make sure we have drop shadow. Change your name to send dollar. Make sure you organize all your layers. Now this we're gonna go ahead and do drop shadow. You see the layer style. And we're gonna drop shadow all the way around. So the light will be actually on the left side. Gonna change the angle right there. The size you can change that. The distance, how far the shadow is gonna be, opacity, how strong the shadow is gonna be, how much you want to spread out. Okay, so we can turn the opacity down a little bit. Uh, you guys can uh, feel free to copy number I can type in or you can choose your own. Push OK. Alright, so we're going to continue to cut the other part. That's the screws. It's going to go all four corners of the frame. Okay. Shop. I'm going to go ahead and select this screw right now. Obviously, you don't have to do the order after you do whatever, as long as you complete. Okay, so comment X, cut out, comment V, put a paste on there. Now, this screw is kind of big.
So we're going to make this screw a lot smaller. Put the screw right there on the corner. There's four of them. One for each corner. So we've got to copy and paste. So what we're going to do is we can duplicate that layer. Let's change the name. Like that, push option P, and then you push shift as well. You move up vertically, cross horizontally, and then we're going to copy another one. Push shift and option. Okay, you hold on to both keys, it will go down 90 degrees or straight horizontally or horizontal. Okay, so the screw is a little bit too big, so we're just going to make sure they are going to adjust that screws. So 
select the image, use the selection tool, rectangle marquee tool, and then you're going to crop the image under image. Alright, so you can see there is a little bit of the gold from the screw background. So we're going to go back to the background. And then we're going to use stamp tool option. And then we're just going to copy over. Remove that little bit of gold. And then we're going to save this file by going on top. Push save. Okay, so that's a Photoshop file with layers. So you're going to turn in layers to canvas. And then you're going to flatten the image. So now only have one layer. And then you're going to save as, as JPEG. Okay, so make sure your name is correctly. And then you're just going to save. Now, this example there, you can save Photoshop to a PDF. But the newer version of Photoshop, you have to bring to Acrobat to export a PDF. Okay, so make sure you do that.